Hey crafters, I'm Lisa Fulmer and today we're working with Ranger's line of products from Claudine Helmuth Studios. She's got fabulous paints, fabulous stamps, and we're going to make a fabulous pillow with, you guessed it, paint stamping. Let's get started. First, you want to test stamp your design on paper with regular ink pads. Claudine's super cute foam stamps have matching acrylic stamps, so you can add a really fun doodly outline to the solid images. Now let's make a patchwork strip for our happy little trees to stand on. I'm going to sew this strip in between two panels of off-white muslin that I've already measured to match the pillow form I bought. To make the strip, start with three or four rectangles of fabric and you're going to sew them together end to end. This will make a strip about 28 inches long, so I've just gathered it up here so you can see most of it. Slice the strip in half to make two narrower strips and then you're going to flip one strip in the opposite direction to the other and sew them together. Okay, now let's prep our paints for stamping. I blended a little of each of these four colors to make my own shade of green. Claudine's paints are really creamy and they blend together beautifully. Decide where you want to position each tree above the patchwork strip. You want to stamp the leaves first and then the tree second, that way the branches will be visible on top of the leaves. Use a cosmetic sponge to dab the paint lightly on the stamp. Remember, less is more when it comes to successful paint stamping, because if you overload the paint, the excess will pool up around the edges and it could really smear your image. Give the stamp some firm, even pressure, and then you can always come back in later with a brush to fill in more color if you didn't quite get enough paint on the first pass. Better safe than sorry. Allow all this paint to completely dry and then you can come in with your matching acrylic stamp and a dark ink pad to add the outlines. Once all the outlines of your leaf clusters are dry, now you're going to take your cosmetic sponge and some brown paint and add just a little bit to the tree trunk stamp. Line it up with your leaves and gently press it down and then after you've got it into position, give it some extra firm pressure all along those little branches. It takes a little practice to get exactly the right amount of paint on the stamp and use just the right amount of pressure in order to get the right amount of color without smearing the edges. So that's why I said less is more and then if you need to, come back in with a brush to finish it up. After you finish your tree trunks and everything is dry, use a pencil eraser to make these cute little round fruits for your trees. I started with a tan paint and then I stamped red shades on top of the tan and I offset those colors a little bit so that the lighter outline looks a little like open space within the leaves. You can see how much darker the red comes out when you stamp it directly on the green. Just dab your eraser in a drop of paint on your craft mat and then press it down with just a little twist. Really cute! After the trees are completely dry, you can heat set the whole image with a medium hot iron over a sheet of parchment paper. And to anchor the whole image and give it a finishing touch, sew some buttons along the patchwork strip. I used several different large black buttons and then I had all the same kinds of little red buttons on top. They're just like the little fruit in the trees. Now you're ready to cut two more panels of muslin for the back of the pillow and make one of them longer and one of them shorter so that they'll overlap a few inches and this will give you a really easy opening to insert a pillow form. First you want to fold and stitch a nice edge for each panel and then sew them both to the right side of your painted panel. Make a few extra stitches right here to reinforce that area that gets pulled when you take the pillow form in and out. And now you're just going to flip it all right side out and you have a nice finished backside for your pillow without having to fuss with snaps or zippers if you don't want to. You're going to add the pillow form and you're done. Oh, is it nap time yet? I'm Lisa Fulmer, and you know I think it's cool to craft. 